guys, and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Makeup Eye Pico by Cytron Technologies. Just before we begin with the review, a quick disclosure. We got sent this for free to try out and play with, and we thought it'd only be right if we did a little review on it. So we've not we've not sponsored, we've not been paid to do a review. We just thought it'd be right since it was got sent to us for free. Yeah. Um. So thank you for Sayolim for sending this to us, and let's get on with the, with the review. If you buy the one with the Raspberry Pi Pico already on board, then Circuit Python is already on, um, with code already on as well to hack around with. Now, of course, this doesn't just restrict you to Circuit Python. Um, you can do you can put Micro Python on it, or you can put your own C firmware on. Uh, we also have videos showing you guys how to do this if you are interested. This is what it does with only just plugging it in. So what are you getting more than the bare bones Pico? We've got six growth connectors here. Um, we don't really see these around in the UK. Um, they're not really as accessible. It would be great if these were more ubiquitous, but it's still cool to have. Okay, we have a reset button here. The Pico doesn't come with a reset button on board. However, the Pimer only Tiny2040 does. And that was something we really liked about the Tiny2040. Um, because with the Raspberry Pi Pico, you have to do a lot of fiddly stuff like hold this button down, unplug certain things and plug it back in. It's just a bit of a hassle. Or you could use our hack where you connect the run pin to your ground, but that requires extra circuitry. And um, so with this, it's just nice and neat on the board. And we also have a audio jack, which is something I'm very excited about. So one pin it looks like it's connected to is GPIO pin 18 and then it's connected to a GPIO pin 19. So we can probably send different signals to the left and right speaker um, and we might be able to even plug in an amplifier so that's going to be really useful to use. We also have a buzzer on board. This is labelled as a buzzer but what I think of a buzzer is this. Something that does just that but this can actually play a tune. Now, it's connected to GPIO pin 18, so is this audio jack, so you can listen to it through headphones. But you don't really want the buzzer playing if you're listening through headphones, so you can just turn that off. Connected to the audio jack, I've got an amp. Let's just turn that on. You can see that works as well. If you want to know how to make this homemade amp, um, we've got a great video about that. Link should be in the description. We've also got some decent momentary switches. We've got three of them here. Um, and these are going to, you know, have a lot of use. Um, and most of our quick projects do use about three momentary switches or just switches. Um, so that is going to come in very handy. And also, we can see we've got a lot of labelling. Now, the Raspberry Pi Pico only has GPIO pin labels on the back of it. Um, so you can see it's actually got it on the front of the board, labelled all the pins. And also, we've got extra external labelling, which is really cool. And on the back, we've also got more labelling. So, you know, this is very handy for us. I'm going to be using that a lot. And um, we have a snazzy little micro SD slot here, you know, for some extra storage. And um, you can see we also have a RGB LED here. Um, and I recognise this one as a NeoPixel RGB LED. And this one looks like it's actually connected to GPIO pin 28 on our Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, we've got our debug pins all nicely soldered up with some header pins. And also, we've also got header pins already soldered on. We've also got some onboard LEDs, um, a strip of them here, a strip of them here. It looks like one um, LED is connected to one GPIO pin. So these are going to be useful for debugging because when the pin is on, the LED is on. When it's off, the LED is off. So this is going to be great for debugging. So it will save a lot of time. And on the back of the board here, it looks like you can do a little bit of like a desolder, this little metal part here. And this is just to disable um, and disconnect the GPIO pin from the LEDs. So if you didn't want the LEDs to be connected to the GPIO pins, then 
They don't have to be connected if you don't want them to be. The one I have here already has the Raspberry Pi Pico soldered on board. However, you can get the same board but without the Pico on. So maybe if you want to use your own Pico, that one might be handy. I think this is really good for beginners because we do electronics all the time at home. We've got, I've got lying around the house, breadboards, but, um, buttons, resistors, LEDs, speakers, jumper wires, lying around the house. Well, on here, you have buttons, you have a buzzer, you have an RGB LED, and you have some LEDs down here. And it's really easy to use. If you think you might like playing around with this Raspberry Pi Pico and other microcontrollers, um, but you don't want to invest in all this stuff, I think this is a good starting point. And if you do like it, you can get all the bits like we have, all the little jumper wires, the breadboards, and all these things. It's, I like it. So if you got this for your birthday, would you be very happy? Yes. Well, my birthday's been. So yeah. <laughs> I'm on the Pi Hut website, and you can get, in the UK, the Maker Pi Pico with the Pico on board for £11.50, and it's £8 if you get the board without the Pico on. If you're in the US, if you want the one I have with the Pico on board, you can get that for $13.39 and without the Pico on is $9.32. So it's really reasonably priced and it looks on the Pi Hut website that they're sold out so they must be very popular at the moment. Hopefully they'll come back in stock. Of course, the prices are going to vary and you can get the Make a Pie Pico boards from elsewhere as well. And this was just the first result that came up for me. And also, we could have a lot of viewers from around the world. Um, and we've seen it in our comments, people placing, <laughs> um, posting where they're from, which is so cool. So of course your prices are going to vary, so just check. Your local the area. Yeah, your local area for the cheapest priced. Um, we haven't yet tested out the functionality of um, the SD card reader and also you can get an external ESP01 attachment here for Wi-Fi. Yeah, so that looks like it'll be quite interesting to try out. Um, we haven't done that yet. Um, and also we agree with our sister. This is great for beginners um, and if you wanted to try out this sort of stuff, but we're good. We've got another use for this. We're going to be using this for prototyping a lot. Usually when we start out a circuit, we'll have a few buttons, one of them being a reset button um, and then maybe a screen as well. And for all of feedback. that for feedback and all of that apart from the screen is on this board already so mm -hmm. we'll do our prototype on this board then transfer it we'll use this as like a diving point and then transfer it to our project mm -hmm. um, then reuse this for another project or prototype so this is going to come in super handy and um, a few improvements that we would make um, like we've mentioned it'll be useful to have some form of screen and even if it's just a tiny OLED display for um, feedback so maybe we want some measurements or numbers um, that'll be really useful. Yeah. Also, um, the Raspberry Pi Pico, of course, has a micro USB um, on board. So it'll be nice to see another option, maybe a USB-C. That's our preference. Um, somewhere on the board, that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe even like a charging circuit. So then you could attach like your own LiPo batteries. Yeah. So then you could like take it out into the field and use it and not just rely on the power from USB um, ports. That would be super cool. Um, this isn't really something that we would have actually picked up on, not because it's bad or anything, it's brilliant. Um, it's just not really on our radar. So we're so glad that we that um, we got to sent this and sent this and we've got to use this product. Um but yeah, I think that's all for now. We really hope you like this video. Our sister's in bed. So. Our sister's in bed, so that's so bye from her and hi. Um thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we're gonna have to bed, so yeah, we'll find her. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.